Yo, what's going on YouTubers? It's your boy Plumpy Boy back here again and doing a little video a little bit different than I used to do and just want to start out by saying sorry for not making videos here the last few months well, well basically this year I was doing a few videos that were for uh, gaming but they weren't turning out too well and not too many people was watching them anyway and I wasn't really into it this whole last year has been literally the worst year of my entire life uh, everything is going bad or wrong or just I don't know just been depressed and all that but I'm going to start trying to make more videos and uh, yeah I don't know I just got inspired here recently to start doing some videos about cooking I know I've done some videos but not very well and I'm going to try to do these a little bit different I actually just did a video on putting this what this video today is about uh, about a barbecue rub for seasoning for like uh, if you're a barbecue or a smoker on a uh, barbecue grill or a smoker um, to put a rub on the meat and I had the whole video done had all the spices set out and when I went to upload it it just messed up and I got ticked uh, I actually threw the SD card away and got a new one and <laughs> flopped it in the Hero 4 Silver and starting this video over again. Yes, the rub is already made. I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, I had the video and it missed the last 60 seconds of it somehow. I don't know why. I uh, just, as usual, something goes wrong. But what it is, is a copycat rub. Um, there's a real worldwide winning uh, barbecue rub out there called Killer Hogs. If you know anything about barbecue or smoking, you've heard of it, I guarantee you. Um, or if you just Google it, I guarantee you, you'll see thousands of videos on it. Um, but this is supposed to be a copycat recipe of their rub. They're just regular um, Killer Hogs rub. They make three different versions. They make the regular rub. They make an AP rub for all purpose. It'll work for anything. And they make another one for like beef, I think. But, uh... This is what this is. I actually got this from forums and uh, other YouTubers that did videos on it. And instead of going out and buy it, I've never bought a rub in my life. I've always made my own. And that's what this video is about. Like I said, I got inspired to start doing some videos on smoking using my smoker or the grill. I got a new grill and I still have the same old smoker, but it works. And we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, this calls for... Uh, this is the recipe itself, and I'll tell you everything that's in here, and this is exactly how much it makes. Um, I'm going to be using this rub on some ribs. I have two racks of baby back ribs in the fridge right now. I got them out of the freezer. Got a heck of a deal on them here all back, and I'm going to be cooking them up maybe today or later on today because it is where I'm at. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm either going to do it later today or the next day. I don't know yet, but we'll go ahead and get to the rub. And this is everything that's in it. One tablespoon of Hungarian sweet paprika. Um, like I said, I already mixed all this up in another video with the video jacked up. But the Hungarian sweet paprika, it's kind of hard to find sometimes. If uh, I know you can't just go to Walmart and get it. And not in my town, you can't. Um, but I did find it in a local grocery store. And it calls for three tablespoons of chili powder. I use Mexine chili powder. Uh, it's really good stuff. My family's used it for years and years. My grandma used to use it even before I was born. My family uses it. Really good stuff. We use it all the time. My mom uses it. I use it. My dad uses it. Um, and it calls for six. So that's three tablespoons of the chili powder, six tablespoons of brown sugar. I just use six tablespoons of regular light brown sugar. Two tablespoons of pure turbinado cane sugar. That's kind of hard to find. Most of your big grocery stores will have it, but it's turbinado sugar. It's basically raw, pure cane sugar. It's just a different process that brown sugar goes through like 10 more steps than turbinado sugar does, basically. And turbinado sugar is like consistency of real thick uh, kosher salt, but brown sugar. And then it calls for two tablespoons of kosher salt. It calls for a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I put one teaspoon of black pepper in here. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Uh, it calls for one quarter teaspoon of cumin. 
One eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. My family hates cayenne pepper. They're wimps. I love it, but I know my family's going to be eating some of these ribs, so that's why I'm not putting in it. But that's why I put an extra half teaspoon. So one teaspoon total of black pepper and no cayenne pepper. But it calls for one eighth teaspoon cayenne pepper. A uh, quarter teaspoon of Jamaican jerk seasoning. I actually got a really good deal on it. Uh, it was the Jamaican gourmet seasoning. This stuff was like $8 a bottle. And I found it for three. 29 or 319 something like that a bottle it was a pretty good deal and last but not least this will be hard to find for most people it was for me i had to go to a specialty store um one quarter teaspoon of tomato powder never heard of it being used in anything until this rub and it was really hard to find i mean it took me days of searching i had to go to like a health food store to find it honestly in my town and when i did get it it was, uh, they sold it there in the store and it was clumped up and I had to run it through a spice grinder, basically like a spice grinder, coffee grinder, electric, to get it back to powder. And I had to do that again right before making this because it had clumped up again. But that is hard to find. A lot of people will have to probably, if you can't find it, you just order it online basically. Like, But if you can't even do if you don't want to do that, you can just skip it out, I guess. But that's it. That's the rub. Um... I may go ahead and put the video up of it, everything of me putting it together. It just messed up on the very last of the tomato powder. That's all it missed. But, and me seeing a couple things. But, anyway, baby man. And, <laughs> so, anyway, that's it. That's the video. And hopefully you guys like it. If you want to try it out, from what I've heard, this is supposed to be a really, really good rub. I've never tried it before. But, I'm going to try it out in the next day or so. So, if you get a chance check it out or if you want to try it try it out here's the recipe and yeah that's it guys let me know what you guys think thanks